Literature has evolved throughout the years, from the first epics of gods and heroes during the ancient and medieval times, to the grand themes and various styles of the romantic and enlightened eras. Nowadays, literature has reached its postmodernist period, a time where every story can be possible, every issue can be tackled, and anything that can happen, will happen, however absurd and impossible it is. Pop culture is one of the most used elements in postmodernism, and though its use has been criticized, pop culture has been integral in today's art and literature for its unfamiliarity and uniqueness. No novel in history has encapsulated this element as the 2021 book Otaku Girl. Otaku Girl is a story about a group of geeks who enter a virtual reality world known as the Escapist Dream, a place that grants them superpowers so they can live like their favorite fictional characters from films, comics, anime, and video games. However, the virtual reality world soon malfunctions, trapping the geeks inside and forcing them to fight against hordes of digital enemies and even against each other. Like most pop culture fiction before it, such as Ready Player One, Dark Lord Burt, and Gideon the Ninth, Otaku Girl is full of geeky pop cultural references, which is no surprise since its author, Louise Boulang, is a blogger of various geeky mediums. But unlike books before it, Otaku Girl transcends mere references and utilizes them better through commentary and satire. Otaku Girl doesn't just throw references here and there. Instead, it lets readers guess what that reference is and how it ties well into the story. For example, the protagonist of the book, a Japanese otaku named Haru Kinomoto, is a fan of manga and anime who suffers from bullying, ostracization, and depression, issues that are well known in Japanese society and the otaku subculture. The deuteragonist, Charlie Anderson, is an optimistic and adventurous American geek who represents heroism and escapism, themes most present in American superhero comics. Indeed, Otaku Girl delves into the issue of what is real and not, and whether living the life of our favorite fictional characters is good or not, especially to those who are lonely and lost. In the end, Otaku Girl accomplishes what its genre intends to accomplish. Of all the books out there, nothing uses references in a beautiful and meaningful way while representing the beauty of geek culture as Otaku Girl.